So what you're seeing on this page, figure 1.17 and figure 1.18, what we're doing is, is we're explaining what, what it means for a solution of, of water, for instance, to be acidic or neutral or alkaline. Now, it seems kind of weird that we're, we're getting into chemistry uh, here, but, but you just need to know that this, this sort of chemistry, you're not going to have to do a, a chemistry problem on this, so you can just kind of play along with me. Um, th this sort of chemistry becomes really important later on when we talk about pH and when we talk about how soils act and how cl what clays do in soils and organic matter does in soils and what's the difference between a soil with a pH of 8 versus a soil with a pH of 4. So we're just going to introduce this to you now. We'll get into uh, more about pH later. So you'll see in figure 1.1. Uh, one seven. That if we have an acidic solution, we have a lot of hydrogen. That's hydrogen right there. A lot of hydrogen ions. They're positively charged, and we don't have a lot of these OH ions, or yeah, OH ions that are called hydroxyl ions. But when we get to a, a neutral solution like this right here, when we have a pH of seven uh, in in any kind of solution, and it turns out that what we're really concerned about is the water that uh, is in the soil, that is almost always in the soil, there's water there. And we, we're concerned about what the pH of that, so, of that soil water, soil solution is. If we have a neutral pH, we have equal parts, hydrogen ions and hydroxyl or OH ions. If we have alkaline soils, you'll see that we have a very high amount of OH ions, hydroxyl ions in our soil solution, not very many hydrogen ions. So that's how we define uh, what we have in terms of pH in a solution, what's actually contained in that solution. Here uh, in figure 1.18, you have a scale of, uh, a scale of acidity or alkalinity. Uh, and, and just note that when we are on this side of the scale, and I'm going to connect these two here, we're on, that, we're on the left side of that scale. So if we have a pH of 4 in our soil, that's very, very acidic, uh, and it's very difficult for things to grow uh, often in those kinds of soils. Only particular plants can withstand that. But when we have this low pH here, what we actually have is a bunch of hydrogen in that soil solution. Same thing over here. When we have a high pH solution, a pH of 9, for instance, which isn't uncommon in the, in the uh, west and northwest, when we have a high pH, and even the desert regions for that matter, uh, when we have a high pH, we have lots of those hydroxyl Ions. So that's how we, we uh, kind of get our minds around acidity and alkalinity and what is, uh, what is neutral. You can see the range that's common uh, for most soils. See that here? Okay. From about uh, three and a half to just slightly over 10. And those end ranges are often uh, not often seen. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what a pH in a soil. Uh, can look like, and again, we'll, we will be getting into why that becomes important later on in this class.